Hi, I'm Sue Hansen. I'm back recording some information that I finally connected from, again, the federal census to the Canadian roots to my grandfather, Pierre, who was uh, his, his, his actual um, family over in Europe. I'm thinking of his, yeah, the fact that he was married to Elizabeth Alberti, the Alberti connection, I wasn't able to make it any firm uh, connection to, but I was able to connect to Pierre's grandparent who was Canadian and had, uh, his name was Louis P. Touchette. And so Pierre, my grandfather would have been his great um, grandson. And I was able to go back into the federal census. I'll share my screen and find out where the Canadian roots lie by going back to the, not to the, not yet ready to go to Canadian yet, but go to the US federal census to see where exactly, if we can find where this uh, great, great grandfather, Louis P. Touchette was in, and this is finding him in, um, in Canada, I was able to connect first to find what the spelling of his last name was in the census. And I will show you that in just a second. Um, I dropped off the last two T's in the E because looking at the federal census uh, to find out uh, who from his son who's listed in, uh, let me show you that. Um, He is listed, here is the spelling right here at the very top. It is Touchette, T-O-U-C-H-E-T, -E who is the head of the household. He is, his birthplace is Canada, but it doesn't tell exactly where. Uh, when I kind of, when I try to go through this place of birth of mother, Canada and France, this is the mother, the head. Um, so we skipped a generation from Pierre to my, my, my grandfather's grandparent, um, and found this, this man is Louis. And in the sense it's showing his mother's birthplace is Canada. And then we also have, and also in para, uh, in a, in a um, looks like inside of a parenthesis is France. So I'm interested in this record, and I'm going to also refer to the names of the people below who are related. Louis P. Jr. is. I uh, is an ancestor to Pierre, my grandfather, as as well as John J. Touchette, who again is the paternal relative to my grandfather, my paternal, my birth paternal grandfather Pierre. He was the he would have been his father, I believe, and he was just born here. I believe this was his. First year, how old was he? I don't see any any um, anything other than the fact that this is the 1849 census. So John Jr. in this one, John J. traced back to my um, as a relative, is he an ancestor to my grandfather Pierre? Shows the connection from from looking at birth dates, I was able to check the birth date and it does say 1875 here. Yep, and that connects to my grandfather. Um, and then we get the head of household who is his father and that's Louis P. And again, this is, I believe this is the connection that I was looking for to get um, to, through his, of course, checking his wife, the wife is confirmed in the paperwork that I had. Her name was Julia. 
she, her birthplace was Ireland. So the particulars are not here, but I can get a general sense of the travels and the connection to the other side of the world through using federal census, get my information, add it to the charts, and then follow through with some of the other members of households that might have um, proceeded or anteceded, if, I, if, uh, if we will, with this name of this head of household, who is Louis P. Touchette. And of course, I have the right spelling, hopefully. I have his information that he was born in 1849 in Canada. This is Lower Canada, by the way. And as well, um, that his place of birth of his father, of his father, of course, now I'm going to follow through, would be Joseph. And that would have been in, I believe what this means is he was born in Quebec. So I could follow through with that and hopefully get into more, uh, get into some of the Canadian census and follow through the next time. So again, it's been nice sharing with you. Um, I did go through the federal census. If we need to do another search, I will be doing the next search in the Canadian census and follow through from there. This is Sue Hansen signing off.